Oh shit. Oh man, and I don't have my frickin' frames on my toolbar. Oh, not good. Welcome back everybody to 7 Days and I'm an old guy gaming and this is the Snow Biome Survival Series where we play this game on a same difficulty. These arms are all set to nightmare speed. And we play on a map that's made up almost entirely of the snow biome generated by the nitrogen world generator. Alright, so it is um, now uh, 21 degrees Fahrenheit outside, so it's still pretty damn cold, but it's... Oh man, it's not... it's... Okay, here, let's get away from the campfire for a second. All right, so we have, I'm just looking at my park up there and it's dropping down to 41 with the torch. So that still keeps us in the yellow for the snowflake. Um, it was just right before I started the recording, it was actually 25 and then it dropped down again. So I guess, I mean, we can't stay here forever. So I built myself to a, a little, a little shelter here. Um, yeah, I think I think we probably better just head, head out and take our chances. I mean, we can always make another campfire on the road if it gets really bad. So um, this is what I'm going to take with me. And we're going to leave this stuff behind for the time being because I'm planning on coming back for it. I just don't have the space, you know, to take it with me right now. Um, so, yeah, that's the plan. And we're continuing to try and work our way towards uh, the trader. So, oh man, it just dropped down to 20 degrees. Well, there's nothing for it. Let's just get the hell out of here. Let's just vominos, man, vominos. What do I want to put down here? Let's, uh, where's my X? X, 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 where's the X? Oh, it's already out, <laughs> it's already down here. Uh, we actually want to put uh, wood frames there anyway. Okay. Let's just head on out and do what we can do. All right, let's just go. So it's um, almost four o'clock in the afternoon, but I don't, I haven't really seen any evidence that the game gets colder at nighttime versus during the day. I think it's just random, you know, whenever it decides to do a cold snap or whatever. Got lots of Larrys around. So, you you know, the other thing I, I need is I need more stones because we have to... We, we still want to continue trying to avoid these guys as much as possible. Okay, you get out of here. There we go. Okay, and then you also get the hell out of here. Okay, let's go. Okay, we'll move this way. We're just going to keep picking up stones as we go because we do need to replenish those. But I'm not going to stop and... You know, like trying hard. Oh shit, we're we're back in the red again. <laughs> this is not good. Oh shit, this is not good. Well, like I said, I mean, I can't, I can't stay here forever. Let's just move, and we'll, you know, if things get really bad, we'll build a campfire and, you know, warm up. I guess we definitely cannot get wet. That's for sure. There's a safe up there, but there's usually Zeke's. In this POI. Oh, there's a... There's a Larry. Okay, there's Nurse Nancy right there. I don't see where Larry went. Uh, but let's see if we can... Open this with our four lockpicks. If we can't, well, then we free up a space. 
Here we go. Wow. Okay. Um, now, can we open this without waking up that nurse? Oh, look at that. Got a 9 mil. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Uh, we'll take all this stuff. Oh, we got a spear. Uh, a good spear, too. Okay, so we'll take that. All right, that was worth it. Uh, definitely. Dang, that's loud. Okay, we got a we got a weapon. Um, I have some nine mils back at the on top of the gas station. I'm almost tempted to go back for them since we didn't really get that far. All right, let's get back down here. You know, I, th I think, I think I will. I think I'm going to go back for those nine mils. Let's do it. Shit, there's Larry right there. I wanted to try and uh, see if we could take a quick look in these washing machines. Washing machines to see if we could get some clothes. Okay, well, we got some boots. <laughs> okay, so let's grab those rounds. Um, Can we put mods on here? Whoops, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Shit, we can't. All right, well, let's get rid of this stupid pink paint. We don't want that. We need that. Let's eat this to get our stamina cap back. And we'll drink a couple things of water and just remake those. We can put this on here. So right now it does 33 damage, and now it does 36. I guess it's three more points of damage. And we have 69 rounds in total. So that's better than... You know, better than not having any gun at all. It's going to be weak sauce, but it'll have to do for now. And let's let's ditch one of these stone spears, too. We still have this one, and this will become our main spear. And you know what? We could actually... Let's repair that, and we'll repair this, because we have two repair kits. And then that frees up another slot, too. And I want to take the mod off of here and put it on here. Excellent. Okay, so that gives us two slots. You know, if we took this with us, we could grill meat. But we don't really need to. I mean, we got seven bacon and eggs there. I'm almost tempted to take these with us in case we do come across um, an AK. I think I will. Um, We probably can't make any kind of leather armor, can we? We make a poncho. Does that help, though, against cold? It's more hot weather. I don't think it'll help us against cold. Pretty sure that it doesn't. What about a bandana? Um, what does that do? Some heat and cold protection. Okay, let's make a bandana. I usually think of that as also more for cooling, but... Um, it'll actually give us two cold resists. Okay, good. That'll help a little bit. Every little bit helps. Um, does the padded armor help against cold? Light armor will cover you a little, provide some protection against damage. It will not protect you from weather. However, you know what it would do? Is it would allow us to equip this. I don't think cloth armor gives us any penalty on noise. So let's go ahead and craft the chest piece. Yeah, no noise in Crace and no mobility uh, penalty. So, 
cool. Okay, so that means now we can equip uh, this thing. There we go. Okay, so we just added another seven points of cold resistance uh, by doing those two things. So that's not bad at all. In fact, I almost wonder if we shouldn't just utilize the rest of this duct tape to make... Oh, wait, no, that's... Okay, yeah, that's armor. Why not? I mean, we might as well. It'll help us survive, and if we find more... Um, if we find more mods, uh, we can put those on. So, let's see. Let's wear that. I want to look at something else, too. Um, does this give... This gives no cold resists, only heat resists. Okay, so that's really not going to do us any good. I think I am going to grab that grill, though. Okay, it's also 50 degrees Fahrenheit out now, too, so this is, this is a good time for us to take off. It really warmed up, and we warmed up. Um, so we have four more things to duct tape. We can make the hood and the gloves. And we don't need the boots because, well, actually the boots, I think the boots that we're wearing, these don't give us any armor. Oh, they do give us three cold resist. <sighs> All right, we're keeping those on then. We're keeping those on. But let's go ahead and make the gloves. Let's replace this though. Well, this has given us two cold resist. And I don't think the cloth will. Okay, so we just lost one cold resist for seven armor rating. That's probably probably worth it. That's probably worth it. Let's do it. Particularly, again, like I said, if we find a mod that we can stick in there later. Okay, so the boots, we gained three from the boots. We gained um, five from the chest armor because of the fact that we were able to equip that. Um, this gives us two cold resist, so we're going to keep the plant fiber hood, and we got two from here. So we've in, we've definitely improved our situation for sure. Now, I do have three of these, and I have three more of these. So can I make... I can make one pocket. Uh, because we're short on cloth. Okay, well, we can grab some more cloth later. Modify, put that there, and that gives us another slot. Perfect. Okay. It's time to go. Let's vamanos. Stupid sleepers. Yeah, I'm glad we came back because, I mean, <clears throat> I could have, I, I should have done that stuff in the first place, but I didn't think about it. But coming back helped me think about it, so it was, it was a good move. Good move to come back. And we got more ammo, too. All right, let's loot this. Can we sell that? Yeah, but I don't think I'm going to take up an inventory spot for that. Off to the trader. Obviously, we're, we won't be able to uh, get to the trader tonight, or, or go inside the trader, but if we can get to him, then we can, you know, look around for a... Uh, a place to make our base while we wait for morning. Okay, Duckville mod schematic. That will come in handy later on. There's a secret stash inside of this silo. We'd have to break into it. Good gravy. Junk turret. Okay. We'll take that. Got a mountain lion right up ahead. Let's skirt way around him. Good thing he's on the road or I might not have seen him. All right, I see skyscraper up ahead, which means we are entering one of the three mega cities on this map.
Okay, it's night time, and uh, we are 882 meters away uh, from the trader. It's right up that way. So, let's uh, just continue working our way that direction. Again, our goal is to... Oh my god, that scared me. Uh... I heard something growl, or grunt, snort. Maybe it's just a pig. Yeah, I think that's a pig. Oh, no, 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 it's a cougar. He's right there. Holy crap. I'm glad those things make a little bit of noise. <laughs> if they didn't. Oh, jeez. Okay. It's 16 degrees out. It is super cold. But it looks like we're holding at... Well, we just dropped down to 45. Uh, body temperature. Which is cold, but not deadly cold. And there's all kinds of Larry's and a mountain lion right where we need to go. Alright. Um, we can't distract the mountain lion with stone. So we're going to have to go this way, I guess. Let's get this back out and see if we can warm up just a smidge. Oh my god, it's 14 degrees. It's 13 degrees ambient out, you guys. That is cold. That is so cold. Oh man, I hope it doesn't get much colder than that, or we might be in trouble. That ruin that Durst Nancy is at, or was at, that's got a weapons bag down below. There's usually one or two sleepers in it, too. But it's relatively easy to get into. See, I just don't know if there's a sleeper in the, this room. Oh, there is. There's one right there. Dang. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Well, man, I don't know. I don't know if, if we should try and get in there with that sleeper right there. A lot of times in this place, when I get, you know, if I loot it at the beginning game, the zombies are down below and not in this room, but that's obviously not the case now. Well, I think, I think that's too risky. I think we better move on. All right, so we've got... A Larry and some other Zeker out there. There's a mountain. No, that's a deer. <clears throat> the doe and the mountain lion sort of kind of look the same at first glance. So I think we're going to hop down here. Let's see if we can get those guys to move that direction. Okay, let's go. I feel really exposed with the torch out, but I don't think the torch, I don't think the zombies actually see the torch. It's 10 degrees Fahrenheit out. Oh man, that's not good. That is so not good. I'm really happy though that we went back and I uh, remembered to do those extra things that gave us some extra insulation points. That's making a difference. We'd be in a lot worse shape right now if we had not have done that. OK, 
Okay, there's a mountain line over that way next to that Larry. So let's stay on this side of this little shack here. Oh, geez, he's close. Whew. Okay. Oh, you know what? This is the bunker POI here. We made our base in that place in um, my the last Dead is Dead series that I did. I think it was Life 7. Pretty good place to have a base. Shit, there's a spider. Oh, man. Almost didn't see him on time. He's kind of hard to see, too, because he's all creeping around. All right, we're about 400 change out, 400 meters and change out from the trader. And we're getting out of the town. Okay, so since we're getting so close, I'm going to make a new bedroll. Because we're far enough away from our, our first little base there that uh, I wouldn't want to go back there now if we died. And let's see if we can climb up on this boulder and we'll put it up on top of this boulder. Okay, so that's our new spawn point. We're only five points down on our stamina, so that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Excuse me. All right, we got a bard up ahead. Yeah. It's getting late. The trader's... Oh, man, it looks like the trader might be up on that mountain. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and head out and go this way. I wasn't sure if there was something up in the shadows up there. I thought I saw something moving, so I thought, figured I'd throw a rock up there just to see if we flush anything out, but I think we're probably good. There's a Zeker over there. I'll tell you what, you guys, this is pretty nerve-wracking. <laughs> I don't know... I don't know if that comes across on the video uh, to you guys, but I'm like constantly on edge here, just going slow and making sure the way ahead is clear. All right, so I don't think we want to continue on this road because it looks like it probably wraps up and then goes up into the mountains there. Trader's right there. So let's get to the trader, and then we'll kind of assess uh, what's nearby that we can potentially use as a, our base.
we made it uh, to the trader and this trader <clears throat> excuse me this trader has uh, two munitions crates and a couple other things we can loot when he opens up so that's good uh, now it's just a question of where do we want to do our base so let's go ahead and make another one of these Oh shit, there's a mountain lion right there coming towards me. Those things scare me more than Larry's do. <laughs> they're just so undetectable. Until they're on you, you know. When we get uh, to the point, though, where we have a, a decent rifle, we're going to be shooting them things for sure, and we'll have lots of meat. Okay, let's just throw this down um, right there for now. And since the mountain line's right over that direction, let's work our way around the front of the trader here. Is that a lootable car? It is not. Okay. It is getting dark. All right, well, we got a Larry on this side and a, a kitty cat on that side. Damn it. Oh, my God, that scared me. <laughs> I tried to pick that rock up, but I, we're inside the trader's boundary now. There's the mountain lion again, right in front of the trader, and a zombie. Okay. So we have this road here that leads up to the trader, so how about if we... work our way down into this town here and assess where we're going to uh, make our first base. Oh, shit, that scared me. <laughs> that just sends chills up my spine when I hear that that noise. Fortunately, they don't they don't have like a really far aggro range. Oh. All right, it's daytime. And we have some snow falling at 17 degrees out, which is pretty damn cold. So we do have the barn over there. That's a possibility. Uh, we've got a... Is that a shotgun messiah factory there? Or a shamway factory? Well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's a shotgun messiah factory. Not really a place we can do a base on. <laughs> Pretty damn dangerous. So Larry and a mountain lion are going at it over there. Oh shit. Oh man, and I don't have my frickin' frames on my toolbar. Oh, not good. He got me. That, that was a big mistake. That was a really stupid, dumb, big mistake. I took him off um, when I put the, put the bedroll down. Good news, though, is the bedroll's not too far away. <laughs> All right, death number one. You know, actually, I'm I'm pretty... I'm pretty, uh... happy that... Oh, God, we don't have any clothes on or anything that we got as far as we did without dying. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. All right, let's run around this way. We can't go down there. 
Can't pick those rocks up either. Frick! Larry's right there. I don't know if you guys noticed how fast he was, too, but I, I couldn't outrun him. He was on my ass and kicking it hard. They are very fast. Let's go around this way. See if we can get to our stuff before we freeze to death. We might actually need that for a uh, forge at some point. Okay, quit looting stuff. We gotta go get our clothes before we freeze. Yeah, that was uh that was one of those mistakes that are fatal. Quite literally. Forgetting to put my uh frames back on my toolbar, because if I would have had them, I could have potentially set it down and got up on top of it, you know, with the land claim block to set up our tower. Uh, but, you know, as fast as those guys are, I might not have even been able to do that. I don't know. Okay. All right. We haven't lost any health yet. Let's go ahead and eat one of these now. Because we're going to need it anyway. And we'll drink one of these. Don't need the golden rod. What time is it? It's 522, so it's almost time for the trader to open. Oh, you know what? There's a prison over there. We made our <clears throat> our first base in the Wasteland series in a prison. That worked out pretty good, actually. But I don't want to do that again because we just finished doing it. I don't know. I'm thinking the barn's a possibility. I mean, it's right... It's close to the trader. I would like to look around a little bit more first, though, before we commit. But let's start working our way back up towards the trader. Uh, so when he opens up, we can go in sell all this stuff and and check his munitions crates cuz hopefully we can get an AK but guys uh we are out of time in this episode too so i'm going to let you go here all i'm going to do is just work my way back up to the trader and uh when the trader opens up that's when i will start the next episode and we'll go from there so, yeah, that sucked that we died. Um, we died because I didn't, and I'm still not doing it. Come on, man, pull your head out of your ass. <laughs> I, we died because I didn't have these on my toolbar so that I could put that down as the base and then jump up and put the land claim on top. But even so, I mean, as fast as he was on us, we might not have been able to do that anyway. But we, you know, we might have. So I, I count that death my own fault for, for being stupid and not putting the, the frame back on there. So that is death number one, and hopefully that will be the only death that we have. But I wouldn't uh, bet any money on that. <laughs> this is pretty brutal. This is pretty brutal to do this. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.